this is dr sajjan sunil from data science department today i am going to discuss you about specific domains which are related to our internet of things in principles of internet of things uh, subject and uh, have a look in this module i have still discussed about introduction to internet of things and what are the different kinds of definitions and what are the characteristics and how the logical design of this iot was and what are the different kinds of communication models and what are the communication apis and what are the iot enabled technologies and different kinds of wireless sensor networks and what exactly cloud computing and what exactly big data analytics and also the different kinds of communication protocols embedded systems and iot levels level 1 to level 6 along with the templates we have discussed till now and today our topic was going to deal at the specific domains which are related to our iot such as smart homes smart cities smart environments smart energy systems smart retail systems smart logistics smart agriculture smart industries health and uh, lifestyle smart uh, health and uh, smart lifestyles these are the specific domains which i am going to discuss with you in the coming class also in this class i will cover smart homes smart city smart environment and smart energy in the coming class we will discuss about the remaining specific domains why because each domain has a specific uh, unique characteristics which we have to discuss in detail about this particular domains and have a look what exactly we are going to get from this specific domain what was our main object to us here by discussing about this particular specific domains which are related to iot we are going to deal with we are going to explore different kinds of internet of thing applications and a wide variety range of specific domains also at the end of the course uh, you guys are going to identify and analyze the specific so, uh, specific domain attribute related iot applications and have a look coming to the introduction what exactly this iot applications are as you know this particular iot has extend his wings a wide range of domains such as smart home automation our smart home appliances are converted into this particular iot's which are home automation and smart cities environment energy retail logistic agriculture industries as well as health lifestyle that's what i specifically mentioned in your slide also see here these are the different kinds of uh, iot smart applications which are related to specific domain actually see here smart home smart cities smart environment smart energy systems smart retail systems smart logistics smart industry smart agriculture related health and what not whatever the sector requires our iot is providing service in that specific environment we are making the environments specific domains into smart old environment which are shown to you specifically in all these specific applications we are extending our services by using the iot sector for that specific purpose only this particular domain services are going to be have a look what specifically the first one what home automation was how the home uh, was converted into smart home and by installing our iot devices such as smart locks for a specific home there will be smart locking system which will be enabled by using fingerprint or else uh, pin generated auto pin generated which will be transferred to your mobile gadget which you guys are using and also smart tvs and smart speakers which are connected in our home and smart security systems and smart blinds and smart thermostat smart lighting smart appliance and smart irrigation which is related to our home sector by emerging all these iot services into our home smart home system then the home can be converted as home smart home automation system as i told you there are multiple things which we are going to uh, see here simply with this uh, particular smart lighting system what we are doing and how the smart lighting system is going to support our environment it is going to save our energy by adapting the lighting to the ambient conditions why because uh, for suppose uh, take a real time example i was in a hurry i am leaving my home uh, i want to leave to my office i was a little bit hurry i forgot to switch on the Uh, switch off the lights which are switched on 
at that particular point of time if there was no motion detected automatically by using this smart lightning system automatically the ambient according to the ambient conditions it is going to switch on or switch off according to the things whenever it required so automatically we are saving power energy and also we are enabling such technologies like such as smart lightning include smart state lightning system such as leds and also each led system will have ip enabled lights and also this by using this smart lightning solutions which is going to achieve uh, by saving energy systems and also sensing the human humans and their environment and also by controlling these lights accordingly these smart lights are going to be controlled uh by using our iot systems and also all these are wireless enabled and internet connected lights which are controlled and remotely by our iot applications such as the web applications or else our mobile by using a smart mobile i can switch on the things i can switch off uh, switch off uh, the things which are in my home sector that is how the home automation connecting was established and the second factor was smart appliances which are established in this smart home what smart appliances are smart appliances are like washer dryer which are going to be controlled by me by using a web application or by using a smart gadget which if i sitting in my office i can man i can manage that particular grazer by can manage the dryer i can manage the smart washer which is going to be done these things are officially called as smart appliances here we are establishing the smart appliances in our home automation for making the management very easier and also providing a particular status information to the users and see here once the smart applications are going to provide you a very easier status application symbols which are going to be used remotely and what open remote system is here we are using an automatic platform for our smart home and also building which can control different kinds of various applications which are presented in our smart home systems here we are compromising with three basic components such as controller designer control panel what controller was what designer was what control panel is the controller which is going to manage and schedule the run time integration between devices there are some devices which are established in our smart home such as smart appliances all these things are going to be managed by effectively with the help of this particular controller only right and what designer was the designer was the thing designer was the component which allows you to create both configuration for the controller and also the user design interfaces and coming to the control panel which is going to allow you to interact with the devices and control the devices which are established in your smart appliances these are the three components which are going to uh be effectively used in our smart appliances and have a look here these are the remote control remote cell security and intelligence use which are connected with internet and these are connected to home devices and these are the various kinds of devices which are connected in your home automation like that see here which is explained to you in form of real time application this was the refrigerator and this was the weight sensor by sensing the weight it sends a notification towards your smart electronic gadget which is placed here and if it is yes it is going to be information if it is no it is going to be ex exited this is how the things are and coming to the third th third factor which is related to your home automation was intrusion detector what this intrusion detector was for suppose uh, take a real time example we went on a holiday for 15 days we have Uh, no one is there in our home at that particular point of time a theft uh, a theft has been uh, occurred or else a theft has been planned by some some people to avoid the intrusion into our home we use security cameras and we are going to place specific sensors which are like pir sensors or door sensors which are going to detect and raise the alarm and sense some alerts to the nearest police station in form of sms or in form of emails so that we can we are going to alert our neighbors so that no we can avoid the intrusions which are going to happen
the like this intrusion detection is going to be most helpful these intrusion detection devices are connected to your internet devices which are home network routers all the specific connected devices are connected to this particular network only this network router is going to be target the attacks most of the internet routers which are placed that are going to play a keystone to our home network and also here we are going to give you a particular username as well as passwords which are basic combo uh, combinations which are address which are the user address or else birthday or else name of the password such as these are the combinations which we are going to use and here the routers which are very vulnerable to simple password because basically an open invitation to miscellaneous miscellaneous hackers why because hackers are much familiar my mostly the person will keep his password as date of birth or else his address so all these are rice a simple uh, choice for the hacker who is going to hack your password as i told you every form of alert will be in the form of sms email or in the form of smart video clip which is attached to your mail id so that you can detect easily to avoid this intrusion detection by using your security cameras and by using your sensors through the particular alerts which are going to be happen and coming to the fourth one which is smoke or gas detection which is happening in your smart home how this home detect uh, gas detectors or smoke detectors are going to be placed there will be a control unit which is established in your home and this is connected to the network service which is X, uh, xb which is a network and for this control unit there will be a battery and also a smoke detector and temperature detector and a display unit here why we are placing these detectors to identify if there is any kind of fire which is rising in your options automatically through the fire the smoke will be detected automatically it will rise a smoke alarm and also gas detector such as lpg gases or carbon dioxide which are detected which are harmful to you those gas detectors are going to alert you so that you will get uh, you will open the doors and so that you will avoid the damages which are going to happen by using the smoke detectors which are installed in our home uh, early sign of the fire and these going to detect the smoke alarm is going to set right so that we will alert and we will stop that particular fire immediately and coming to gas detectors which are going to uh, detect the harmfulness of the gases such as as i told you carbon dioxide lpgs etc and this detector is going to detect the smoke in the home and it sends a signal to the control unit which is going to be displayed into the display unit through this iot we are making a better environment in our home see here and we will enter into the second uh, specific domain which is smart cities in this smart cities also we have multiple factors in smart cities the first factor which we need to discuss about was smart parking why we will use smart parking here to make search for parking parking space easier and also it is very convenient for the drivers why because we will see number of uh, uh, times in malls or else in our smart cities uh, it is very hard to find a space to park our specific uh, vehicles in that particular point of time by establishing this smart parking system the driver is going to know where exactly the space was where exactly he has to park to avoid the congestion for this specific purpose we are inheriting this smart parking system into this specific domain called smart cities and what exactly this smart parking will do as i told you it is very it makes easier for searching of parking and also it is very convenient for drivers and these systems are powered by iot systems and which shows you number of parking slots which are available and also send information through internet with the smart application which we have in our electronic gadget with this smart parking management system we are going to be used in a vacant location where exactly the vehicle has to be parked and where exactly in ground vehicle detection of sensors is also very easy playing a key part in smart 
parking system why because sometimes we have parked in a bunch of cars we forgot where exactly we parked why because at the time of parking there are only less cars at the after our work completed there are n number of cars out of n number of cars it is very hard to find the specific path towards our car with the help of this smart parking system it will give you a tracker so that we are right it's very easy to find where exactly our vehicle is parked that's the advantage of this particular parking system have a look here this was the best example which shows you the smart parking system which is having with the specific rfids which are emerged in that particular smart parking system with the help of this our parking systems are going to transmit the data and also along with the time and along with the duration of the space which is given to the location signal processing and which is going to reduce the congestion and which is going to decrease the vehicle emissions and also which is going to lower our environment's cost and also cuts the driver stress for this effective development smart parking technology each device needs a reliable connectivity to the cloud servers without reliable connectivity towards our iot device it is not possible to extract the data or to track a specific particular thing in our internet of things as i told you every device should be connected with internet only and see here this is the second factor which shows you about smart lightning system if you observe there was a road which is uh, going to show you on the screen this was the diagram which is shown to you for your reference here standby lightning switches on when he walks by see here a person was walking on a road automatically the lights which are presented in the road was going to be on by using this sensors smart lightning systems nowadays everyone is using the smart lightning systems even in smart cities as well as even in organizations also people are using this it is used for roads no need it is used for parks it is used for buildings which is going to help you to save the electrical energy with this smart lightning city authorities are going to keep you in a real time tracking of lights and also optimizing illumination which is going to be demand based lighting in different zones for suppose in some zones people are not able uh, to uh, in some zones uh, some people are uh, uh, after some particular point of time people are not going to come out on roads at that particular point of time if the lights are switched on means it is wastage of energy so that automatically the lights has to detect that particular no movement of uh, people who are roaming automatically it has to be shut down whenever a uh, human has entered into that particular road or a vehicle entered into particular road it by sensing the sensors automatically it will send a alert system to the smart lights so that it will start giving you the light energy this is how we had need to save the energy see here parking lots can be dim during working hours and when a car is entering it will be detected and appropriate sectors are going to be illuminated this is what i said first suppose i have parked my car and i went to my uh, workspace and most of the people have completed parking and all the people are working at that particular point of time if the lights are in switch on mode automatically it is a wastage of energy automatically the sensor is going to no motion is there from the past 15 minutes so you can shut it down automatically all the lights are going to be shut down in the parking area after completion of the work when a specific person is entering into the parking lot automatically a motion is going to be detected by the smart lights which are uh, placed in that parking system automatically it is going to switch on the lights so that he can uh, easily track the things so that with this particular smart lighting system we are going to save the energy and see the third factor which is smart roads smart roads are the part of the smart city why smart roads has been required in a smart city why because Uh, the person how much uh, the vehicles are uh, how many uh, vehicles are passing whether the vehicles are maintaining a constant speed is there any accidents are happening a live monitoring system see the diagram once all the specific smart roads are equipped with 
sensors which is going to provide you an information which is going to give you the driving conditions and uh, for estimating and also in poor driving conditions it is going to send you an alert and uh, it is going to predict it is going to send an information if any accident has been happen happened or else if there is any kind of traffic condition that the vehicles are jammed the, due to some congestion it is going to send you an alert with the help of this particular sensor which are placed in the smart road have a look here in the smart road i have placed a core node into into the system which is going to convert uh, which is going to be monitored by using 4g internet speed uh, which is the monitoring center with the help of internet uh, monitoring lights are going to be on and off proximity sensor which is going to detect the light wifi network sensor and network sensor nodes these are the things which i have placed here see here in this smart road systems we are going to get some information which is going to reduce the traffic jams and also the roads can communicate via internet through the cloud applications or else the social media or else the drivers situation sometimes the drivers are rash being damped by seeing the empty road they will rise up to 120 or 130 speed kilometers per hour at that time it is it was a over speed uh, that is also going to be sensed by our sensors which are placed on road and automatically it will send a message to the camera which is established on the road it is going to take a picture and sends an alert you are over speed reduce the things like this a smart road system is going to be helpful in the smart cities the next one is structural health monitoring system in smart city so why how structural health monitoring system architecture and application here it is the status which is going to give you the material buildings bridges wirings and also dams mining's which are placed throughout the city and all the things whether all the proper it is maintained whether the data was uh, accurate in generating properly or not which is going to monitor the things see here by using this uh, structural health monitoring system it uses a particular network of sensors to monitor the vibration levels in the structure as such as bridges such as buildings and through that particular structure of buildings if there is any uh, natural calamity has been happened the sensors are going to analyze and assess the health structure of that particular bridges as well as the buildings by analyzing the data it is going to detect the cracks or else mechanical breakdowns or else locate the damages which are happening with this particular thing i am going to give you an advance warnings by using this particular system and also which is going to create you best uh, factor with the help of this health monitoring systems which are maintained in our smart cities and the next factor was surveillance in smart cities surveillance plays a major role why because anything can happen at any time so the detailed surveillance systems are going to support you for a better resolutions with the help of the feed video feed or audio feed or else the surveillance cameras which are established throughout the smart city and these video feeds are going to give you from the surveillance cameras which are connected to the internet to and the data is going to be uploaded to the cloud and from cloud we are monitoring all these particular things and the video is going to be analyzed by using such applications and also finds a specific pattern of even and see here how the video patterns and how the things are happened in the surveillance factor in this surveillance factor if you observe all are uploaded into the iot cloud in this iot cloud it will stores in some specific database and in this cloud also it requires an analyzer every video has to be analyzed and by using some applications called web applications mobile applications which are connected to your iot device and also we require a combiner where sensors are going to help with this combiner and with this uh, cctv splitters and dvr splitters which are connected to cctvs and these are the sensors which are going to sense the movement and record and which is going to send information to the cctv cameras to start recording with the help of this particular sensors like this surveillance team is going to uh, help you in the smart cities the next factor was an emergency response in cities anything can happen at any time might be a fire might be a gas leak or else water leakage system which is going to give you some alerts 
this is what emergency response work due to the natural calamities which are happening in the critical environment system with the help of this emergency response system with the, with the help of our iot we are going to detect the things and we are going to continuously monitor the critical infrastructure such as buildings such as gas or else water pipelines or else public transport or else power substations all these factors can comes under emergency response if anything happen automatically our iot systems are going to sense the information and going to present you in a form of alerting system this is how the things are going to happen in a emergency response see here in this particular emergency response by using a cloud based architecture which will be function in multi modal information such as sensors data audio video feeds and can be analyzed with a real time to detect the adverse events which are going to happen adverse events means multiple events which can happen in any time with the help of this emergency response system it is going to support you to the smart cities to predict if there is any kind of gas leakage in the city if there is any kind of water leakage which is happening in the city is there any kind of fire detection which is happening we with the automatically you are going to get a alert message to the nearest respective department so that they can alert they can stop the prevention like this smart cities are going to be enhanced the alert can be in the form of messages or else rerouting the traffic evacuation from affected areas like this we can do the things see here these are the emergency transportation facilities according to the things we are going to get messages and the person data center office is going to send informations so that emergency people will respond and also the federated medical records can be maintained in such a as i told you alerts will be sent to public and also rerouting of traffic can be done in the gas leakage area no people are going to be allowed they will, the people who are in that affected area are going to be diverted to the safest areas by providing a traffic map and also evacuations at the uh, affected area that is what i am talking about these are the things which are existed there are totally six factors which are existed in smart city coming to the next factor which is smart environment in this smart environment there are specific Uh, things which are going to support the first one is weather monitoring system weather monitoring system is the one which is going to support our smart environment domain and how we are going to monitor the weather there are n number of systems which are going to collect the data with the sensors which are placed in the outside with this they are going to send some data by basing on that data we are going to store the information based on the data which is provided by the sensors which are placed by the iot devices those are going to be analyzed and those are going to be visualized by the cloud based applications see here a weather alert can be sent to the subscribers which are used that particular applications airpy take an example airpy is the weather and quality of air, uh, weather and air quality monitoring kit which is capable of recording and also uploading information about temperature humidity air pressure light levels uv levels carbon monoxide nitroid nitrogen dioxide and smoke levels with the help of this internet air pipe is the weather and air quality monitoring capable kit which is established in our iot device like this we can monitor the weather and the next factor is air pollution monitoring air pollution monitoring here we are placing a iot device uh, to find out uh the data can be provided to the system here with the help of this iot system we are going to monitor the emission of harmful gases such as co2 co no no2 etc which are released which are dangerous to the people into the air if these gases are there these are very harmful Uh, which are released by factories or automobile industries which are meteorological these by using this gases or meteorological sensors which are placed these are going these sensors are going to collect the data and by basing on the analysis of the data we are taking such decisions and we are sending alerts to the population control approaches and coming to the third factor which is noise pollution monitoring in this noise pollution monitoring this is also going to support our smart system how this uh, uh, smart 
weather monitoring system can be maintained. See, smart environment. In this smart environment, three factors: air pollution, smart pollu, smart uh, environment system, and noise pollution monitoring. Due to the growth of urban developments, noise levels in the city are increased very high, even become alarming high in some cities. By establishing our IoT based noise pollution monitoring systems, number of Uh, monitoring systems are going to deploy in different kinds of places in city, and with the help of those devices, we are going to detect the uh, in such in some area there will be a high noise pollution. So that by with the help of our internet through cloud, the data is going to be gathered, and the generation of noise maps are going to be designed in this smart system, and with the help of the data which is gathered. and uh, that data can be accurated and aggregated with the, the calculations so that uh, it will be helpful to the things and coming to the next factor which is forest fire detection in this forest fire detection it is going to cause a damage to natural resources and also the property of human life here in earlier days how the things are in forest if there if there is any fire Uh, which is affected due to the heavy sunlight or also due to the man made mistake so that the forest will go on firing so forest are going to be destroyed so to avoid those things particularly in forest fire detection also we are placing some iot systems these iot systems are going to detect uh, with the help of smoke detector or else with the help of fire detection systems these are going to be monitor continuously the nodes which we established in forest are going to monitor if there is any fire automatically it will send a message to the concerned department so that it will take such measures and also these nodes are capable of monitoring the conditions such as how much temperature is maintained how much humidity was there how much light level was there etc these all can be done with the help of our iot system in forest fire detection and around and also with the help of this early detection of forest fires which is going to help us to minimize the damage some kind of damage will happen and also the sec- next factor was river flood detection with the help of this river flood detection which are going to cause damage to the natural as well as human resources which are going to be affect the human life early warnings to this kind of floods which are going to be monitored by the water levels uh, in the rivers or else in the sea which are going to be uh, calculated by our iot systems automatically they are going to send the things ultrasonic sensors which are placed in the flow rate velocity sensors which are placed which are going to send you river flood monitoring system and from these particular the systems data we are going to analyze that data and we are going to indicate the respective department that the water level was high that the water level was low that the flood is going to occur in within a fraction of seconds if the same input water level is there under the dam like this the entire things can be monitored with the help of this reach river flood detection system only in this smart environment this is uh, about these specific domains which are specifically presented in your domain specific related iot system in the coming class i am going to discuss about the remaining specific domains which are presented in our iot that's it thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates